Out in the lettuce field, and we've seen a lot of lettuce around the desert southwest. With me is Danny Collins with Royal Packing Company. And indeed, a lot of lettuce is being grown right now. Danny, you do have a lot of acres of lettuce. So how many boxes do you put out of this desert southwest for us? Well, we usually uh, try to average about uh, anywhere from seventy-five to 80000 a week. That's a lot of lettuce. And this goes on from now until April? Well, we, d we finish up usually in late March. Let's talk about the market. You know, uh, the market has been up and down so much. It rides a roller coaster. What are some of the influences on the market? Well, uh, a lot of it is our situation with weather. Uh, if we have ice, they have to stay out of the field. Uh, the conditions back east. Most of our lettuce goes back to the northeast and the southeast, and it depends on their weather. When it's freezing, you don't want a, a salad. You want a cup of soup. Well, you know, that's interesting. And also, when you have bad weather up there, like they have a lot of snow, it's hard to ship it in, isn't it? Yeah, the truck traffic depends on a lot of it. Uh, transportation problems, all, all these things uh, enter into the, the picture when you're trying to get rid of the stuff. Well, Danny, we're here in the desert southwest. You mentioned lettuce ice. Now, what are we talking about? Well, when it's really cold in the morning, right when the sun comes up, it might be no ice before the sun comes up. And the, when the sun comes up, it's the coldest part of the day. And then uh, when the sun comes up, then the ice comes onto the lettuce. And we can't cut the lettuce with ice on it because then it'll damage the lettuce and it, it, it ruin the product. Now, that means they, they just go home or do they wait? Well, they have to wait uh, until the ice goes off and then we can start our, our production. Now, by they, I mean the workers that come out here, and they do a great job of doing the, doing the crop out here. They've been showing the folks uh, harvesting this lettuce. You have a pretty good crew, a new type of uh, company this year, isn't it, uh, working with you? Well, we have a couple of different harvesters that uh, work with us, and, and we work in conjunction with them, and, and they do a pretty good job for us. Now, how do you govern what they do for you? Do you give them instructions as to how you want the king-size boxes packed? Yeah, we have people that watch them and monitor the, monitor this uh, operation all through the uh, the entire season. Uh, they follow them, they watch them, and uh, kind of guide them along and, and and lead them to which field we want them to go into and when we want them to go it. Excuse me, into it. Now, are they responsible? The the contractors for their workers are they responsible for all phases of what they do? Yes, they are. They're responsible for all the training and uh, and all of that stuff. What about the way you pay? Do you pay the contractor and he pays his workers? Yes, George. We, we pay the contractor so much, and then uh, that's uh, however we have a contract with them, and that's how this uh, is taken care of, and then they pay their people out of that. Now, Daddy, one of the things you tell me, there's a lot of lettuce comes out of one acre of land, and, and uh, one acre is not a huge piece out of this big field we're looking at behind us here, but how many boxes of lettuce do you get from one field? Well, it, it de you can't say from one field. You've got to depend on how many acres it is, your yield. Uh, sometimes you can get, uh, on a bad field, you get 400, and uh, some of them, uh, we've got up to 999 out of one block this year already. All right, amazing. Danny Collins is with Royal Packing Company and uh, growing lettuce right here in Yuma County. I'm George Gatley, NBC News Channel 11.